kill light here and I'm going to do a quick review of the alien gear inside the waistband holster. Um, I ordered one of these uh, for my Glock 27 as well as uh, Ruger LCP and I basically I actually ordered the uh, Ruger LCP holster that comes with the uh, leather clips and this um, Kevlar piece um, and then I ordered the extra Kevlar piece for the Glock 27. Uh, I've got the Glock 27 on it but that's the, this is the only thing that is different um, between the holsters so you can actually order the uh, this piece separately and have a holster that'll work for both. That's what I did. Um, and I will tell you that uh, they said it'd take uh, like five or six weeks. Uh, it took exactly 30 days from the time I ordered it to the time I received it. So it's not bad for a handmade, you know, custom holster. The, this is the black right hand uh, with the black grips or black clips. Um, all right, the guns fit well. I will try to keep this in the picture. Um, the, they are adjustable. The tension is adjustable. Um, I've got mine where, you know, it's not going to just fall out. And, uh, but yet I can pull it out fairly easy. Um, it does clear my iGlow, uh, iDot Pro sights that stick up a little high. Um, it clears those, no problem. The, I like the shape of it, the size is good. It covers what I want to have covered on both guns. This is the larger gun and it just nicely covers the top of the gun. That's the leather thickness. It's uh, not quite 3 8 inch, um, so it's not real thick, but it's not thin either. And it has a, uh, it does shape itself, conform uh, well to you when it's when you have it on. The back of the leather, it it is a, and I don't know, I'm not a leather person. I really don't know what you call it. It's a, uh, um, it's not like finished, but it's, it doesn't soak in sweat or anything like that either. Um, and one thing, the, my only complaints on it right here, I hope this shows those two overlap which has caused this one right here to stick out and there's a sharp point I'm gonna have to fix that and on the one clip it's uh, been rubbed some of the blue has been rubbed off of it um, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet it, they do come by the way US Postal Service come in a bag. They have a baggie full of extra parts which you can see here. Several of the rubber spacers. Uh, two of the uh, pieces that go in the leather from the back side. Two of the washer slash bushings and several uh, screws of three different sizes. Comes with a uh, their flyer for their guarantee and stuff and I, I'm sure that if I uh, decide to get this one exchanged I imagine they would I may find out um, so that's the holster itself let me show you it comes oh and it comes with a little allen wrench hopefully it'll focus and all you gotta do 
to swap them out is uh, unscrew the four screws and that's what I'm doing now and let me just pause the camera with all four of these little screws and washers off this piece pops off the screws the holes match let's put the new one in place and take your screws and washers and uh, screw them back in after tightening the screws to the proper tension there's the LCP and I got my tension good and pops right out and as you can see uh, when I have worn it I use the LCP and it's fitting already to the leather and uh, there it is with the LCP in it and makes the gun look really tiny and it oh quick thing the uh, mag release does it does not interfere with the mag, mag release it doesn't overlap so you don't have to worry about the uh, mag release accidentally getting hit also on both guns it's got enough cut around so that I can take and slide my hand in here and pull them out so I, it's, I really am happy with the uh, cut and shape of the holster um, again the only there was only two issues I had one is that the uh, clip having the, the the surface messed up and then that little piece here that's sharp uh, which I'll have to file down and clean up. Other than that, I really like the holster. Um, it is a, if you've ever, if you've not worn an inside the waistband holster, I will tell you they are a pain to put on and uh, definitely a pain. One thing that is adjustable height wise where the clips go. And I've got a belt here right now with the LCP. It's going right across the belt. Right there is where I like it. With the Glock, which sticks up farther, it's a little lower on the gun. Um, if you move the clips down towards the bottom of the holster, it'll move the belt where the belt goes a little lower. So it'll stick up higher. It'll be less inside the waistband, more sticking up. If you move it higher, it'll be the opposite. More will be inside the waistband, less sticking up. So for this one, I definitely like the middle. Uh, the Glock, I may end up moving it one up. I haven't, you know, haven't decided yet. I've only worn it like eight hours, and that was with the LCP, not the Glock. All right. I hope that was helpful. Um, just a quick review. If you got any questions, uh, Feel free to ask. I may or may not have the answer, but uh, if I do, I'll help you out. And always remember gun safety when dealing with this type of thing. Make sure your gun's not loaded and don't point it at anything you don't want to destroy. Keep your finger off the trigger. All right, stay safe. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, please like, subscribe, or uh, make, leave a comment. Take care. So here I am with the inside the waistband holster on, t-shirt tucked in. You can see it doesn't really print on the t-shirt. Now this is a bit of a uh, good size t-shirt, so it's not real tight. You can see a little bit right in here uh, on the jeans, but that's what, a, that's what it'll look like with the inside the waistband holster. Hope that was helpful.